Hey y'all, I am gonna make uh, some simple, simple biscuits. If you wanna make homemade biscuits and you really just don't know how, um, although I have two other videos on, on how to make biscuits, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, biscuits using two ingredients. I always have heavy whipping cream. I keep one in the freezer, and uh, but I make a lot of soups, so I always use this. This is what we made our butter with that you saw the video. I think it was the last video, the homemade butter. So this has the butter already in it. Other than that, you, you just use self-rising flour, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All we're gonna do is I'm gonna start out with two cups of flour. I'm not real uh, picky on the measurements. It don't have to be level or anything like that. You can sift it if you want to, I'm not. I'm making it easy for y'all. Um, we're gonna add to it a cup to a cup and a half of um, heavy whipping cream. And, and then we're gonna stir it up. I use a wooden spoon, it's old as everything, but I'm just gonna pour that heavy whipping cream in. And I'm just gonna stir that. That's all the ingredients you need right there. You may need a little more liquid and you may need a little more flour, but that's it. So that was a cup. I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna start out with a half. I think that'll do it. It's just according to the weather. <clears throat> if it's a dry biscuit or a, a dry dough or a wet dough, <clears throat> you never know. Normally I do a two to one ratio, but today it's taking a little more of the uh, liquid. So that's a cup and a half and that should be plenty. And all I do is just stir it up. kind of a thick dough, you can see. But this, remember the heavy whipping cream has the butter that you would use in making regular biscuits. And now uh, I've already uh, got my biscuit pan out. It is seasoned because I use it all the time. But if you don't make biscuits all the time, you might want to spray it with some Pam or something. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is just take some self-rising flour, well, any flour, but I use self-rising in this, and just put it on my board. Now you can roll these biscuits. I usually put a pile right there for my jar. You can roll them or you can cut them however you want. I'm doing, I'm cutting them this time just to make it easy for the ones that aren't used to making biscuits. I just want to show you how easy it is. I'm going to have to check my bacon in just a minute. If you hear something cooking, it's, I'm frying bacon. So uh, Now all we're going to do is get some flour on our hands. And all we're going to do is knead this. And kneading is basically just folding over and pressing it down. That's all it is. I'm not fancy on that. Some people are real perfectionist on stuff like that. I'm not. But just press it down. This is a really good dough. I really, really like it. And it makes a good biscuit. That way, you can start out with these. And you can move on to some of my other biscuits that I make. Now, mm -hmm. look how pretty that dough is. You know, maybe 10, 12 times I need it. Maybe. Just till you think it's, it looks good. Y'all, I'm gonna have to go turn my bacon because I don't wanna burn it. I'm gonna go ahead and push these out. I just press them down to the thickness I want. And I kinda like a, with this recipe, I kinda like a thin biscuit. I mean, they still rise. Okay, Val, go check the, the uh, bacon. I love my 
my bacon burnt. Um, I can tell by the way it smells. It's going to be perfect. So I told you I already have my pan ready. I've got my oven preheating at 450. And I just use a jar most of the time. I do have a biscuit cutter, but I just use a jar most of the time. I made these a little bit thin just because I'm wanting them thin. We've got some homemade butter, like I mentioned before. And if you'd like to know how to make that uh, out of heavy whipping cream, um, go check out my video on that. It's fun, it makes you, uh, it just makes you smile. So I'm gonna have bacon biscuits. I'm gonna have uh, molasses and butter. And then we're headed out to get cow feed. We gotta go pick up some, several barrels of cow feed. Now I didn't dip that in good enough. Come on, there you go. But like I say, you can make these as thick as you want. Say, so I'll dip it in the flour, honey. I will tell you this, you can, uh, if you want your biscuits crusty on the edges, you can keep them separated because they're gonna rise. So, or if you want them uh, tender and soft, or you just have more biscuit dough like I do, um, just put them close together and, and this is the way I like them. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and then I'm gonna finish this in a different pan. So all I do when I get to this point, I probably could have got one biscuit right there, is I just take it, make sure my hands are good and floured. And I'm gonna make this pan just a little bit thicker to show you what you can do. Just knead that and get it to a ball. You can use a rolling pin, it's not necessary. Just use your hands. And I'm making these a little bit thicker <laughs> so we can see the difference. And you can even make them thicker than that. And these will be separated in the pan because there's not gonna be many of them. This up here. You do not have to use an iron skillet. You can use a cookie sheet. Um, if it's not a seasoned pan, I suggest that you um, uh, spray it or grease it. So I gave us four more biscuits. This little uh, biscuit recipe is a good little recipe. Now this last one, I'm just gonna roll and that kind of shows you what I do. I just tuck the edges under like that. And I think I've showed you before how to roll a biscuit. You don't want to work the dough too much. Anyway, and then you put it on there and just press it down with your hands, with your fingers. So I'm gonna put this in the oven.
normally I'd make a gravy out of this right now, but we're leaving, so I'm not going to do that. But I will put it in my grease uh, little pot and save it. And if I don't have grease one day, I can uh, make gravy out of it. That's my homemade butter I made yesterday. I'm going to set it out for our biscuits. I always leave my canisters, most of the time I just leave them sitting here. This is the sugar, this is cornmeal, and this is my self-rising flour. Uh, I usually just set them out and, um, and just leave them out because I use them so much. Looks like I forgot a, pan, a, a dish, but I've got to wash the biscuit pans. I love to get everything clean while the biscuits are in, <laughs> and um, then I don't have to worry about that. I just wipe everything down. I've already got my morning routine done. If you don't know about that, you can look on the New Beginnings Journal. We talk about that, the videos for that. We're going to be having another one soon. Um, or you can go to my Facebook, Our Forever Farm, and you can follow along as we clean our homes and love our homes and love our families. Okay, I'm gonna get the first pan of biscuits out, the thin ones, and show you what they look like. These are just beautiful and they're gonna be so good, but see how thin I cut them and how thick they are? We'll get the others out in just a minute and show you the difference. So while I'm waiting on the others to come out, I'm gonna show you, these are hot. I'm gonna show you how pretty these are. Anybody can do these, these are so easy. Look how flaky. And I'm gonna put some homemade butter on them. And I've kind of chopped my butter up. When you make homemade, it's, um, it, and it's been in the refrigerator, it's hard. You can always melt it if you want melted butter. And I'm gonna go ahead and do Sweet Hunter one of these little biscuits. And then when the thick ones come out, we'll get in one of those. So here's the thick ones. Let's see if I can get this without. Look how thick. I like the thin ones better myself, but they're pretty, aren't they? So let's get it down here where you can see both of them. Thin ones, the thick ones. You can tell which one I rolled. See how different it looks? That one right there. But I think these are beautiful. So there you go. Easy biscuit. Anybody can do it. Uh, I'm going to make me a bacon biscuit and Sweet Hunter another one and put some homemade butter on it. Uh, Y'all go cook something.